Okay, it's time for an update on the garden. It is coming to the end of the summer growing season. Everything is just overwhelmingly massive because of all the rain we've had. I'll let you see. It's just everything is growing like crazy. It's coming to the end. And soon it'll be time to start the fall garden. This right here that took over this whole bed is um, hummingbird vine. Some people call it cardinal vine. Hummingbirds do like it. I've seen a few of them out here. But I had to go in here the other day and take a lot of it out and there's still a lot more to go. <laughs> so, everything grows good this summer. Time to take the strawberries out. I gotta pull all these and plant new ones because these are over three years old so they won't bear fruit anymore. So if I want more strawberries, I have to plant more plants. Isn't that wonderful? Now if there's some runners in here, I could take the runners off and start new plants with those and that would be just great. Here's some more hummingbird vine. I tell you, it's taken over. It really is pretty though. And it worked good when I made my flower pounded shirt the other day. I used some of that on there. It works really well. And as you can see, the watermelon vine took over the whole area. So we can't mow over here <laughs> until it's finished. And it looks like it's dying back a little bit. There's a melon there. Have lots of melon. There's a melon there. They're in here everywhere. I started a stumpery. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but just put a bunch of stumps together and you make it look pretty and add some flowers and there you go you have a stump of cool piece of driftwood I got from the, from the beach I either got that from my brother from the river or from the beach I can't recall and over here I have some little gourds growing they come up volunteer in this wash tub all kinds of stuff growing in there zinnias hollyhocks and oh, gourds and I see this glass full of sea glass is full of water. We have had so much rain. Every single day it rains. And it doesn't just rain, it pours. So every day I gotta come out here and dump all the water. Because if you know where I am, you know there's tons of mosquitoes here. Put this turtle back up there. That's his home. That's his perch. You've seen turtles on a post. Well, now you see turtle on a, on a glass. <laughs> And the zinnia patch did really well, better than I expected. At first I thought it wasn't going to do well, and then it just took off. And I've used the flowers for flower pounding, put in bouquets, to uh, put in my flower press, and to do decoupage with. I decoupaged the birdhouse with these flowers, and they turned out so pretty. But aren't they just beautiful? I mean, look at this. It's beautiful can't ask for something more beautiful than that and they're just I cut them every day every day I have to cut this one down here looks like kind of like a pom-pom look at that it's the giant zinnia mix beautiful and whoo hot it's hot and humid and it looks like it's going to storm again the rain is coming I hope it passes over it passed over us yesterday afternoon but then it came back yesterday night and it just poured so I'm hoping this will pass over and give us a few more hours of outside time before we have to be stuck in the house. But here is the watermelon vine slash sweet potato vine. So if I get as many sweet potatoes and they do as well as the watermelons have, I will have sweet potatoes all winter. That would be so awesome. So anyway, let me go over here and show you my big gourds that I have growing. First, I want to show you my own. <laughs> bingo trying to be big and bad <laughs> I want to show you my uh, sesame seed plant it's dying back and going to seed see all the seed pods isn't that cool yeah that's an, that was an experiment I never grew before so now I'm going to have sesame seeds with snails and over here I have one lone tomato it's uh it's looking pretty puny, but it's an Everglades tomato. I'm trying to get them to grow. 
Zines came up in here volunteer. I see some volunteer weeds, of course. And an onion or two. And I'm gonna let go to see it. And that is a pigeon pea tree. These are pigeon pea trees. I have to transplant them before they get too big. And this is my asparagus. It's gotten really tall. Looks really good. It's in here with a bunch of sweet potatoes and basil. And this is either a weed or a butterfly pea. I'm hoping it's a butterfly pea. And here is the gourds. Not as many as I usually grow, but I believe there's five gourds in there. That's enough for me. I still have gourds from last season and I just haven't done anything with them yet. There's another melon down in there. Can you all see that? Now you can see it. And that is going to be a yellow rotten sweet. And those are the most delicious things. Lots of seeds, but I don't care. <laughs> when I was a kid, my melons had lots of seeds. That's the way it was supposed to be. The squash is pretty much through dealing. So I need to come in here and pull these out of here. Probably tomorrow morning, because I only have three more days to be at home. And then I go back to work. And the problem with the next three days is I have something to do every day that's not going to be at home. So I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. But anyways, sorry for the dog noise. The neighbor just showed up over there. They go crazy when they see anybody out in the yard. Let me get back over here. Maybe it won't be so noisy. And our poor Gracie is in heat. So she is in the dog kennel. She's been doing so good so far. We just put her in there today. We let her out to go to the bathroom. Can't let her in the house because she's just too messy. So we put her in there. And, um... She was doing good till she heard the dogs barking. This butterfly, oh, I want to show you this over here. Let me show you this butterfly pea vine over here. It's so pretty. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. Don't want to make you dizzy. <laughs> right here. This butterfly pea is growing up a piece of bamboo that I cut from across the street. There's wild bamboo growing across the street everywhere, and I cut down a few pieces and use it. There's my. I don't know if it's called a donkey tail or a burrow tail that my cousin gave me. It's doing really well. Everything's doing good out here. The rain has just made it go massive. Greenhouse is doing good. Everything's good in here. The money tree still hasn't produced any money. Still waiting on it. You gotta, you gotta start producing here. And the pineapple's doing good. Still hanging in. Still the only one. And it sure is pretty. I can't wait to taste it. It's going to be sweet and juicy. Oregano's doing good. Everything's doing good. And the one thing that has taken over my greenhouse is this. Longevity spinach. I wish I had never planted it in here. Because now i got to get in here and pull all this down. I also see some Virginia creeper up there, which I do not care for. It's going crazy and it's hard to get rid of it. It has big, giant roots i mean they're like they're tubers actually and they get huge and you have to dig deep to get them things out so i don't know where the big tuber is at but i'm sure it's somewhere under the greenhouse where i can't get to it oh look at the butterflies it's a gulf fritillary this is a gulf fritillary right here and i believe the other one is too hopefully they're laying eggs on this uh mexican sunflower this came up in here wild. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? I love butterflies, hummingbirds, and birds, and bees, and flowers, and trees, and there's another one. They're just everywhere out here. You're enjoying life out here in the garden. Sometimes it makes you wish you were a butterfly. Gosh, there's one, th there's three. Another one over there. I don't know if y'all can see it. I just love them. Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. I can't really see the phone right now because it's too bright out here. And she landed just perfect for y'all to see her. Getting her some nectar. They're so pretty. Anyway, that's my garden update. Oh, there's one right there. So pretty. Look at you. I haven't counted. Oh, there's a little tiny skipper right here on the marigold that. Isn't that cute? It's a little skipper. Makes you think of Barbie dolls and skipper when we were little. 
I got ancient history, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, ooh, look, there's two, and guess what? They are mating. They're going to have some eggs. How cool is that? Nature is amazing. So pretty. That must be the butterfly mating dance. I love it. Hmm. Looks like her wing is a little bit damaged. So she might not be able to fly. Maybe he's trying to, or she's trying to help her. I don't know. He might be trying to hurt her. He might be competing for food. We got plenty here, y'all. Y'all don't have, y'all can share. I don't know if butterflies fight or not. I gotta look that up. But I do know that those big giant grasshoppers that everybody claims it eats all their plants. It doesn't eat none of mine. I saw them fighting the other day. A little one was on top of the big one. And the big one was struggling, struggling so hard to get that thing off of him. He finally got it off of him. And then he took off running to get away. Oh, now there's three. Three. How cool. Wow. And this area over here is where I had my potatoes. And they didn't do well. I think I told y'all that the ants got them. So this is pretty much just sweet potatoes and marigolds. A zinnia here and there, butterfly pea. What I thought was going to be pumpkins didn't do good at all. Some turmeric. Did I show y'all my turmeric? Oh, they're just flying everywhere. They're so pretty. Hey, little skipper. Yeah, my turmeric. My turmeric and my sage. Doing very well. The mint I'm going to pull out because I, I got enough mint. I don't need any more mint. See the sage back there? Isn't it beautiful? And the turmeric should be blooming soon because it's big enough now to start putting out these big beautiful white flowers you've probably seen them in my previous videos from a couple of years ago that's the garden update this sunday july 20 something i don't even know in the summer i don't keep up with the date i just know i go back to work on august 1st <laughs> pray for me it's gonna be rough haven't been around kids all summer, <laughs> but I'll be ready. But y'all have a beautiful Sunday, and I will see you on the next one.